Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, we have dry skies for now. That'll be changing late in the night. And tomorrow, we've got some more rain on the way. Let's get a look at what's happening at the moment. Here's your uh, snow showers, snow flurries that were around earlier in the afternoon. They have now pushed off to our north. Now we're monitoring this area of precipitation out across Ohio and into uh, Pennsylvania, getting into the middle part of Pennsylvania. It's all headed into southern New England, mostly in the form of rain it will be tomorrow. Threat tracker for tonight, low chance for severe weather. Same for tomorrow and same for Tuesday. Now we have the chance for rain Monday and Tuesday, but it's just more of a nuisance than anything else. Here's Providence. We've got dry skies. The hurricane barrier cam. Here's a look at Newport. Temperature of 37. Feels like 31 with a bit of wind from the southeast at 8 miles an hour. In uh, Providence, 36 at the Rhode Island College B Education Center. 33 in Taunton, 33 in Smithfield, a little colder in Chapach at 31, 42 in Westerly. And these temperatures are actually rising in response to these southeasterly winds that are blowing. We're going to be seeing the clouds are re back up as we go through the night and eventually this precipitation comes on through. We have a warm front that's headed into the northeast and with it we'll be seeing the chance for some uh, clouds and precipitation. Let's see how it all uh, plays out with our hour by hour forecast. We're going to take you through the night with temperatures going up. So by tomorrow morning, although this may initially start as a little bit of wet snow, I'm thinking rain showers will be around uh, during the morning commute. I don't think the whole commute will be a, a wet one, but we are looking at the chance for some rain showers. And those showers continue through the morning and possibly into the afternoon hours. But I think the best chance for rain probably in the morning hours tomorrow, shifting maybe to the south coast during the uh, afternoon uh, for your morning commute. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s and continuing to climb uh, in the Providence area with some rain showers in the region. Uh, rain chances, as I mentioned, highest during the morning tomorrow. It, they drop during the afternoon, only about a 20% chance of rain for the evening commute. So the morning commute, better chance of it being wet. 45 in Narragansett in the afternoon, 48 in Tiverton with a few showers still possible. A few showers in Situate, Johnston, in Providence in the afternoon, but as you saw, best chance in the morning. 47 in Fall River, 48 in New Bedford tomorrow, so a milder day for you on Monday. Seven day forecast, another busy weather week. First things first, Tuesday, we have the chance for some light rain showers around, still mild in the 40s. On Wednesday, looks like a dry day. On Thursday, something that we're watching for is another. Another storm possible could start out as some early freezing rain turning over to a plain old rain. We're watching for the wind potential with that one on Thursday. Lots of time to watch that Friday Valentine's Day. It's going to be sunny, but we're looking at a cold and kind of a windy day with temperatures only topping out in the upper 20s. Look at Saturday morning starting out around 7. <laughs> Burr. Daytime highs only in the <laughs> upper 20s, so we're looking at a cold night, Valentine's night, and into early on Saturday morning. All right, TJ, thanks. Coming up next in sports on Eyewitness News at 6:30, the Red Sox move.